we ended up in, in 2008 to make the um, suggestion that we sell the company to the employees in way of an ESOP. Lars turned this into an ESOP. Um, it's something he didn't have to do. He probably could have sold this company for a lot more than, than selling it to the employees for the value of the inventory at the time. What an ESOP is, is where the owner sells the company, not to one individual, but sells it back to the employees. So we all became owners. Those are all part of our core values, those, those simple acts. And, it, and it's also for a legacy. Now that we've uh, become an ESOP, Lars has allowed us to purchase the company from him. Now I am a part owner of the company I've been a part of for the last 32 years. It's of interest to see that the people that have been participating in building the company are getting the fruits of it. And having that rich history is certainly important. Having a culture of family values is important. Having great benefits is important. Being an ESOP company, uh, 7,000 ESOPs in the United States out of millions of corporations, we're a minority, but having a stake in the, in the company is huge. For someone to come here and work here 10, 20, 30 years, they're gonna get a nice check at the end of, of that time. Companies don't do any of that stuff anymore. Again, it goes back to that rich history, family culture, things like that I think are, are important today because we're a minority.